guys! So as I promised in my last video, I have a haul for you all. As always, I couldn't resist the post-Christmas sales. I didn't really intend to do a lot of shopping, but I am a real sucker for bargains, so I did end up buying a few things in the Christmas sales this year, and I thought I would show them all to you. Now, they are from Zara mainly, and then I've also ordered a couple of things online. So I'm gonna start with the Zara stuff, which I actually got the other day with my mum. The first thing is actually my most favorite thing that I bought, and it is this dress from Zara. And it is a very pretty kind of girly lace dress. And the thing that struck me the most about this dress is actually the quality of how it's made. Um, it's only from the Zara basic line, which usually has kind of, you know, the average high street quality clothing, whereas this dress, it wouldn't surprise me if this was from, like, French Connection or Reese, where the dresses are, like, £200, um, because it's the same quality, like, it is really, really lovely, um, really thick material, it's really nicely sewn, it has, like, double pleats on all the pleats in the skirts, I just think it's really good for the money. It wasn't massively reduced, it was £39 reduced from £49.99 I think, but the Zara sale hasn't kind of reached that like rock bottom um, level yet where it's all kind of 50-70% off, it's all around the 30% off mark at the moment. But I really love this, I think it's very very pretty, it fits nicely, it's a kind of white base with a black lace overlay which makes it look kind of like a pale grey silver colour, um, and it's very heavy. What I like as well is this really kind of thick black detailing around the edges of the top. I absolutely love this dress and I will definitely wear it either tonight or tomorrow night because I've got two birthday parties to go to this weekend so it will definitely get worn for one of them if not both of them. And the second thing I picked up from Zara is this scarf. Now this is one of those scarves that's actually a giant flag um, but it's made up of all sorts of different patterns. This actually weirdly has like crabs and prawns and stuff on it. It's kind of a sea themed one but it is a huge Union Jack. It's a big soft scarf. I love scarves. I don't actually have any kind of Union Jack stuff. I don't normally wear Union Jack kind of red, white and blue style things, but this is really nice when you actually drape it. You can't tell it's a Union Jack, but um, the colours are just really nice. It's got a little bit of grey in there too. Yeah, I just really liked this. I think it was £12.99 reduced from £17.99. So again, a pretty good price considering a lot of Zara scarves can often be like £30, which Personally, I think is a lot of money for something from Zara because it's meant to be kind of affordable. The next thing I got is just a plain t-shirt and I bought this partly because of the colour. I think it's the most gorgeous turquoise bright blue colour but also because it's actually quite long. A lot of the time with t-shirts I find they're just an annoying length. I like all my t-shirts to be quite long. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I was with my mum when I bought it as well and she actually said she's bought a couple of the t-shirts from this line um, in the summertime and they wash really well. It's the linen, it's from like the linen collection. So it's just a plain linen t-shirt, it has the kind of slightly rolled up sleeves and I just thought it was a good basic, especially for spring and summer coming up, I probably won't wear it much um, in January and February, but a bit after that I think I'll be wearing this a lot. I also found some shoes in Zara, and I don't often buy Zara shoes, but I picked up these ones, and these are a really pretty kind of royal blue ballet shoe, and they're a really really nice cut, that's why. I went for these ones because they're actually very low at the front, which is something that French Soul often do, and French Soul ballet pumps are about, I think they're about £80 or something ridiculous. These were £16.99 reduced from £19.99, so again, not an amazing discount, but I thought they are really pretty, and I'll definitely get kind of a lot of wear out of them as well. And I also like how they are black and blue mixed, so they're kind of one of those items that, um, pulls black and blue together because sometimes black and blue can look a little bit odd when you wear them together but if there's something like this that's already kind of incorporating both colours I think it helps when you want to kind of mix those two colours. The next few things I purchased from ASOS online, I actually made a fairly big order as I do all the time with ASOS, um, I ended up sending quite a lot of it back partly because it didn't fit right, didn't look right, it wasn't nice quality, things like that. I always find with ASOS because they offer free overnight delivery if you spend over £100 I think, if I'm spending like £50 I'll always order like double the amount of stuff that I need so that I can send some of it back and still get the free delivery. Is that cheeky? I think it's quite cheeky but either way a lot of the ASOS quality can be kind of hit or miss. Some of it is fantastic, some of it isn't quite what it looks like on the site and as always with shopping online sometimes the stuff doesn't fit so um, yeah I did send a few things back but the things that I kept are these slipper ballet pump type shoes. I've actually had my eye on these for quite a while. I spotted them a few months ago and I think they're like £38 reduced to £28, something like that. 
Either way, they're a bit too expensive for me to justify buying them originally, but in the sale it just kind of pushed me over the edge and I bought them. They've got this kind of sheer lace material on the sides where you can actually see through them slightly, which I think is quite nice. And then they have this metal toe cap at the end, which is actually slightly bigger than I thought it was going to be um, from looking online, but it's still cool. I still like them a lot. And then I also bought this shirt. Now this is from Warehouse at ASOS. And it wasn't actually in the sale, it's from the new season, but I just really liked it and it ended up being one of the only things I kept from the order. Um, you can tell a pattern of me with this monochrome kind of like black and white lace going on. Um, I'm not entirely sure where that's from, but apparently I'm liking black and white lace at the moment. But it is a really pretty lace print, it's got a black kind of detail down the front, a little black pussy bow at the neck, black shoulders, and then what I also like, which I think makes a little bit of a difference, it's got these black panels in the sides as well, which is pretty. And I definitely wouldn't wear this on its own, I'm going to insert a clip here of me wearing it. It's definitely something that needs to be either cinched at the waist with a belt or tucked into a high waisted skirt, because it is quite loose flowing, I definitely kind of wouldn't just wear it kind of on its own, as it were. I would always kind of cinch it in. And the last thing I ordered from ASOS, and the only kind of beauty skincare related thing that I did order in this haul, um, is this gift set from Corez. Now, I smelt this fragrance, which is the Vanilla Freesia Lychee fragrance, when I was with my friend Gemma, or Gems Maquillage, in Liberties in December. And if you watch my vlog channel, we vlogged that day, so you may have seen us. I found this fragrance, and I really loved it. It's very sweet, fruity, as you might be able to tell by the name. Um, but it's also kind of creamy and soft, thanks to the vanilla, I think. I really liked it, but I was buying the Molecule One perfume at the time, so I decided not to get it. Because um, it's £29, another perfume, I really didn't need it. But then I saw that this gift set was actually on sale on ASOS for £24 for all three items. So you've got the 50ml Eau de Toilette, the body milk in the same scent, and the shower gel in the same scent. So it's kind of a bargain. I love Corez products. If you watch my last video about my beauty favourites from 2012, there are a couple of Corez products in there. I do really love the brand, um, and I'm really excited to try these because I thought it was a bit of a bargain. So last, but definitely not least, for my sale haul this year, I bought something that I've had my eye on for absolutely ages. Now, I am a massive leather jacket girl. I always wear leather jackets. I absolutely love them. I just think they're the easiest thing to throw on. I love the kind of biker style, it's just very kind of me. But my black leather biker jacket that I've had for over five years now is from Zara and it's got a hole in the sleeve in the actual leather. The lining is ripped, the leather itself is like wearing out on the elbows, so it's really kind of seen better days. Now I saw this jacket which is from Moobar, which is one of my favourite kind of leather brands, um, at London Fashion Weekend when I went in September, but the only problem is they didn't have my size, so I was really gutted because I love the design, but they didn't have my size, so I found it online in the sales from a boutique kind of store, I think they have a few actual shops, but they do have quite a good online site as well called Cruise. Um, and it was reduced from 375 to 188 pounds, so it's a really good price for a kind of good quality leather jacket. Even the ones that you find on the high street tend to be about 150 to 200 pounds. So I was really, really happy with this. It's the exact one that I'd seen at London Fashion Weekend that I really loved. It has this really gorgeous kind of floral stitching pattern in the back. It's not just the kind of regular checkered pattern that you get on a lot of leather jackets. So that's what kind of makes it unique. I really like it. I love the biker style as well. With Moobar, I kind of, you always kind of know what you're getting because I've got a couple of their other jackets as well. I really like them. They're just easy to wear. Um, they're already really distressed, so you don't have to be super careful with them. So if you're packing them to like go traveling or whatever, if you get hot and you want to just fold it up and put it in your handbag, you can do. Um, so I really love these. I think they're just a great wardrobe staple, and I'm happy to have a new one. Um, yeah, so I'm super happy with that, and I was so excited when I found it on sale because, like I said, I'd wanted it for ages. So that is it for my shopping the sales haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys picked up any major bargains in the sales this Christmas, and if you haven't already seen my last video which is my best beauty products of 2012 then make sure you go and check it out see you next time guys bye